<laughs> Avido, what's up, man? <laughs> Um, great, yeah. Charlie, Charlie, good to have you here. We're talking, we're talking um, something really. Let me put Chelsea aside. They have their woes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but people are losing money because of some online instant loan apps. Yeah. There's some scam going around, and yeah. I really want you to to go into this. Okay. And maybe we we'll even talk to somebody who was a victim. Yeah. Hey, yeah, let's yeah, talk we'll, about it. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about online instant loan apps, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how they're operating. Uh, we are looking at the unregulated ones. Uh, uh, the activities are affecting others. Mm -hmm. So then we need to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Now, the point here is that we have to accept or understand how those apps work. Okay. And now, so if you need money this morning, you go online to look for. So, like when I go to uh, my Play Store here, mm -hmm. right, I can just glance through. I just type instant loan apps, right? Mm -hmm. So in these, Ghana only. In Ghana only. I would just want to. So here they have a lot, you know, we have a lot here. Now, when I have downloaded these files or this app, right, mm -hmm. so like this one, now there are something that I want us to pay attention to. So we are giving out one personal mm. info, mm. right? Mm. So the issue here is that when you download that app, you have given this app the permission to assess one, your contact, your email, and all other things on your mobile phone or your device. Now, the point here, I see this as a big threat to us. Is, is it uh, when you default, based on their actions and other things, when you default, they send um, messages to your family or the contact you have on WhatsApp, and they sometimes declare you wanted. Hey. And they tell you that you are a professional scammer. Now, the point When is, you default, yes. they so, will send messages to my people. Yes, there's a story we did. Tell them I'm, I'm wanted. You are wanted. They declare hey. you wanted. They on they which declare, power? I don't know. So they said that you are wanted and also wow. you, are, you are a professional scammer. Hey. And this is being shared across on all your numbers, right? Now, the point here is that, Calf, these people is a threat to us. Now, let me come down for people to understand this. Now, you see, when I'm using my device, probably I have Calf's personal detail mm -hmm. or personal number. Mm -hmm. Now, when I default, right now, even when I download the app in the first time, mm -hmm. you are able to assess my contact. You are harvesting credentials. So you are talking about credential harvesting here. Now, if Calf, I have Calf's personal number on my phone, that means the company have your number now. Now, so if you are honorable, you are MP minister watching me, and maybe one way or the other in your constituency, people have your number, and something happened to those people, they download this app, mm. definitely these people are getting your number. So it's an issue that I think that we should all talk about it. It's not just about the person going for the loan. But now, because they are harvesting credentials, and when I download the app, install the app on my device, they get access to my phone, my phone book, and I have your number there. So if then they are harvesting your number, they have your number. So we are talking about privacy. Data privacy comes in here. Now, if they have your number, what happens next? If you default, sometimes, you know, after even, let's say you are finished paying and you're off the platform, what is the guarantee that these details that they have about you has been deleted? So the first place, when you download them, these details are stacked on your service. They have everything about you, most of the information. So let's go to the third app now. Let's look at this app. I didn't even know that there were, there were apps giving money to people. Yeah, they are. How, and, how much can they give and you? Sometimes... Maximum amount. Maybe 1,000. Okay. Some, even that 1,000, you have to... It's accumulated. So they start sometimes with 100 CDs. 200 CDs. How long do you have to pay back? Uh, sometimes a week. Okay. Sometimes a month. What's the interest rate like? Uh, maybe 1,000 is like 50 CDs a week. Mm -hmm. Right. And now when you default, and let's say this week I'm supposed to pay the 1,000 CDs now and I'm not able to pay, I have the right or they have given me a privilege to do something we call uh, defer. I can defer 300 CDs. That is with the app that I know. You can defer 300 CDs. So that means that every week if you defer, you are paying 300 CDs on top of your 1,000. So you can get into debt very quickly. Yes, you see. So and people are not paying attention to it. So this app that we are talking about, these there are lots of them. And I will tell you. Uh, so this one is the Loan Pro Digital, right? So let's look at it. This came online. That is first September, right? Twenty twenty two, right? Now let's look at something here. Let's see what they are taking from us. So let's go to see details, right here. Let's come here. Now, so they are also taking your financial info. I'm just going for 100 CDs mm -hmm. because of something. 
they are taking my financial info. What is my financial info? So maybe probably you have you are doing your bank details, something you have your credit card details there, even your mobile money, other things, everything about finances. Yeah, personal number, info and your well. personal number. Mm. So the and not even personal numbers to say personal number. Your phone book. You have access to my phone book. Your phone book. So all the numbers saved there, they have it. That is why when you default, they can easily send messages across. To all your people. To all people. That, you're that you're, you're, you're a scammer. They call you scammer, declare you wanted. I don't know who gave them that authority. <laughs> but but yes. are, are these guys regulated by any That's the point here. So we go to BOG mm -hmm. here. And BOG came out with a report. Uh -huh. Right. Look at this. So this is a report came out last so year. So let me read this. Notice to all licensed financial institutions and the general public. Unlicensed entities engaged in lending. The BOG has observed that a number of unlicensed entities are engaged in the provision of loans to the yeah. Ghanaian public yeah. in contravention of the banks and specialized deposit taking institutions act 2016. These illegal entities mostly employ the use of mobile applications and social media in their activities. The activities of these unauthorized entities amount to non-adherence yeah. of the consumer protection requirements and an abuse of customer data and privacy laws. Yeah. And these are the entities providing these services without a license. You need a license from Bank yes. of Ghana. Yes, as as are 2022, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. But now I can tell you that this thing has quadrupled. Okay. This list here. So, so, so let me look at the names. Look at the them. names I just like. I don't know. You see? Sikapes. Yeah. Quick Loan Online Application. Yeah. 4CD. Yes. Instant Loan. Uh, Cdisha. Cdisha yeah. Online Loans. Yeah. Ghana Lending Application. Mm. Chased Loan Application. Loan Club Ghana Instant Loan. Adam Fopa. Adam Fopa. Meta Lending Instant Cash Loan. Oh, here's Sika Loan. What mm. a name. Yeah. Into commerce, into brackets, <laughs> Ghana loan dot net. Yeah. Uh, loan yeah. house. Yes, a boss yeah. What? So a microcredit. Sika Kasa. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not a radio again. No. The last time you said, now we are learning to use our local names. Yeah, so. yeah, Sika Kasa. <laughs> money is talking. Yeah. Loan Pro. Yeah. Sika Rua. So the Loan Pro, that's where we went to. These things sound like nicknames, man. Beji Busia. Beji Busia. To go to where was um, Lending Papa. Yeah. Lending Papa. Yeah. yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a Papa. It's a Papa of, of yeah. lending. Yeah. Crest Cash. Credexter, mobile loan, CD Now. Mm -hmm. Bank of Ghana is taking steps to take action against these entities and hereby advises the general public to desist from doing business with all unlicensed loan providers. Uh, and so this is where you can visit, visit BOG's website yeah. for the approved list of licensed institutions. Should we go there and see whether they mm -hmm. have the approved list? No, so you can, I have not queued that mm -hmm. in. This is just the yeah, okay. thing. So you, all right. you can we, go there, but you can just go. put it in there. Yeah, yeah. we should be able to find out what right, the approved so list, if you can. No, okay, it's coming. It's coming? Yeah. Okay, good. So, so these are the rich, okay. Savings so, and loans, yeah. banks, finance yeah. houses, representative offices, other banks, leasing companies. We're looking for uh, lending companies, lending right? Company, Deposit so. taking, microfinance, microcredit, so, rural sure. banks, PSPs. Credit so bureaus, development of Bank of Ghana. Look sharp, should, please. They, sh they should be under. Look sharp. Uh, so, uh, so loans, savings and loans. So let's get this one. And yeah, let's, let's check try this one. That one. Yeah, register institutions. So yeah, we are trying to protect you from people who declare you a, 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 a scammer. A scammer. Okay, so this. So is, they have this, the all of them. So go yeah. through. Yeah. yeah. Go they through go the list. Through. These are all the accredited. Uh, savings and loans companies, companies. Um, and there are so many pages. There are so many pages. You know, so so many go pages. Through. Go through and make sure that you, you, you know. So 26 entries. If it's not there, my brother, my sister, don't get scammed. Okay. Yeah. So, Carl, Tell us so, more. Yeah. so the issue here is that uh, my point here is when you download those apps, mm -hmm. you are talking about the last time we said that when you come online, your protection, your security... Is in your own arms, mm -hmm. right? So you need to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, protecting yourself, there are so many things you need to do. Now, you've come here to see. Now, what sometimes, you see, I wanted us to also go to our gym, right? Sometimes we use the this last one, one yes, one? yeah. All right. So sometimes we use our Gmail in downloading these things. So let's look at the apps that are accessing our Gmail. So you go to, you can go to data privacy, but we go to security here. Then here you see the devices that are logged in. That's a story for another time. So you go to here to manage third-party apps, right? So here in my Gmail account, if you click it, you see it's about the cyber zone, right? You see here, all these apps are accessing my Gmail account. But you know about them? I know about okay. them. So if there's one that you don't know or you are not trying to use, you can just sign them off. That's a way to clean your Gmail account, clean right? Your Gmail. Yes. But the, all what we are saying this morning is we need to be very careful about these instant loan apps because now it seems kind of when I, I did a story around it and if I go on WhatsApp, the kind of people who have been victim of these quite a lot. 
and I think that we'll be speaking to mm -hmm. one person very soon about that. So we have them here. So just go this morning. So these guys are all operating in Ghana. They're all operating in Ghana. And, and, and my point here is that it's not about the person even going for the loan. Mm -hmm. And I'm seeing this as a threat because I keep saying that they are taking, they are harvesting credentials. Mm -hmm. They are getting people's contacts. And you don't know what they are going to use those contacts for. You see, now when I have your number, there are so many info I can get about the number. I can just do a simple mobile OSINT and I can get a lot of info. So we are saying that quickly. Uh, these people were on the list, they were back on Ghana list, so for CD. And they are here. <laughs> Bus. And sometimes, see, the one thing too we should check is, irrespective of it being this, any app you want to install from the Play Store, App Store, let's check the the reviews. This one is four points. They say four point one. Mm. But sometimes, you even go check the number of downloads. I don't know if here if they bring the number of downloads yeah, because they are, to see yes, how many people have downloaded the app. Downloaded the app. Okay. Go check to see. Wow, I didn't even know that there were companies like this who ah downloads is there? Yeah. 100,000 plus downloads. Mm. Most of them are forged. Okay, so you can actually change them. Mm. From it. Update, so you, updated on the 19th September. Yeah. Does it show you when the app even came into effect? No, that one, okay, let's, so look look at the reviews. On, let's look at the reviews. Oh, sometimes this review, sometimes they just, mm. uh, mm -hmm. they just contract people to, to write them. Okay, it's a whole business. Yeah. All right. It's a whole okay. business on its own. Right, and sometimes what we have to also do is you go to their website. There's one, I went to their website. So sometimes you even check their website. Right. If there are any space or any chance of getting their office location, in case something happens, you should be able to go and report. Is right. this one supposed to be operating in Ghana? No, because they are not regulated. Yeah, These are uh, part of the uh, unregulated. This is not a Ghana number. This yeah. is a 1 800 number. So, so, like, so, uh, if, so if you go on the uh, Play Store here, there's a space that you can see their website. Mm -hmm. uh, the app, you see their website, then you quickly just go to their website to see, or you can just pick up the name of the app you are downloading. And Google it, right? And you Google it, right? So there's one I did here, and there's the info I had on there. 1-800-538-287. So if something happened to you, there's no chance of what getting them. These things are all foreigners, but they are here with us, and they are scamming people. Not I wouldn't say scamming, do, but they are operating, and they are not regulated. So whatever they do, it do to really affect you and me. So we have to be very careful about that cover. Great. You are watching GTV Breakfast, and we're looking at online instant loan apps, scams. And you say a lot of people have been affected. I didn't even, they didn't even knew that there, was, there were companies yeah, like this. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and if today you open a phone line, there are so many people who have been victim of this. I saw one in the list of the various apps, one of them who said they can give you up to 50,000 CDs. Yeah, it's a build up and I don't, <laughs> it's I don't a build up, even, eh? yeah I don't even know if that's true <laughs> you know they give out those small small amounts of money and yeah. they take your privacy from you and I'm saying that it's, it's, it's an attempt to do something they are harvesting information so the main aim is not even the money they're giving you but no. to take your information yes. to go they, and do other stuff with yes it. they get your info it becomes you now data is very uh, key to them mm -hmm. now if they have it if I'm able to compromise calf your phone okay. or maybe someone gone for a loan and I've been able to get his contact. You know the number of contact I have. Maybe I've got almost around two hundred. Okay. That two hundred out of that, I also get another person, right? So yeah, I didn't apply. Let's go to the lines and I speak to a, a victim of these uh, online instant loan app scams. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. You are welcome to GTV Breakfast. Very good. Please tell us your story about these online instant loan apps. Um, actually, I, I took a loan from uh, one of the apps called Free Cash. Okay. And under that app, we have a uh, CKBI. So, uh, as I said, you take it in bits, then it accumulates. What was your so first amount? To... What was the first amount you took? The first amount I took was uh, 157. Okay. And, and how long did it take for you to pay back? Uh, in a period of one week. Okay. So you pay back through Momo, is that correct? Yes, please. So after the one fifty, then how much did you take again? Um, so add fifty to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, they asked you to take more. Yes, sometimes they'll give you an extra of uh, eight hundred and eighty Ghana. Okay. Yes. So after uh, it's an accumulated stuff, so mm -hmm. it's like the more you keep taking, the higher the amount becomes. Mm -hmm. So it's rounded up to about a thousand to this. Okay. So. Um, the day, the due day, they don't give you due time. They just tell you your due day is maybe the seventh of a month or mm -hmm. the week, mm -hmm. the particular day. Then 
when it's time, they will call you and give you a reminder that you are paying on that very day. Okay. So then uh, you have to prepare and then pay off. And if you want to still assess again, then you go ahead. Mm -hmm. So a lady called me and said, I have to pay that very moment. She's calling me. And I said, no, I have a few days. So she should just give me space to organize myself. Then I said, I have a right to defend my loan, which is to the disadvantage of whoever is taking it. Because when you defer, they will take the interest on the money. Mm -hmm. Then the real money is still standing. So the moment you defer, the following week, you still have to pay the actual amount with the interest. Mm -hmm. So imagine that I'm paying thousands things and I've deferred. Then that means I'm paying 300, the thousand is still holding for the next one week. Mm -hmm. So it was there that the lady said, if I, I, I don't pay immediately, she's going to spread my details on social media. I said, no, you wouldn't do that because I've not defaulted. Mm -hmm. So I was there and then someone called me and said, uh, where are you? Someone, they are looking for you. I said, who? Then she sent the thing through my WhatsApp saying that, uh, notice, 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 general public, beware of this lady. Wow. She's a professional scammer. <laughs> and actually went to a number of contacts. And so, they were all calling me. So they had access they had access to your contacts? Yeah. That's yes. It. You, so you, you gave them access? They asked me, why do you give my number to this? But I said, no. It is drawing their assessment of the loan that they have access to my contact. Mm. Some of them they didn't understand, but some did. So this is my experience. It was very bad. Normally they go... To your contact, see your pastor, if you have an assembly member's number, an mm -hmm. edit number. I mean, people who are very key people that you have their contact, they go and then when they see they are busy online, then they send it. How so many? After I defer, uh -huh. after she you went defer. back and pulled down all those messages. Mm -hmm. So my contact couldn't see what they sent to them some few minutes before I defer. How many people? How many people got to, to you to, to to find out what was going on? There were others that didn't say anything at that moment, but at the at the time that they did the thing, over fifteen people to twenty people called me. Okay. And it was later mm -hmm. that some people called me and said, oh, "We we know them, so we decide not to call you." What did you because do? We know who you are, so mm -hmm. we know definitely you didn't be a scammer. Are you still so, in? A, are you still in a relationship with this company? Hey, no. <laughs> so, so how did you how did you get out of the relationship? Uh, a gentleman uh, called DK Cyber. Mm -hmm. He came to me. Actually, a friend of his saw it. Who is my friend? Mm -hmm. And then told him. So he came to me and then he asked me of my side of the story, which I narrated. So his company is a. Uh, Cyber Zone, Ghana. Yes, we know them. So he came to me, granted some few interviews with mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Then later on, he brought me a check to pay them off, a, a cash of thousands is to pay them off, which I did. And so, so, so I really want to thank um, uh, G Cyber DK for Cyber. a mm -hmm. good job that he is doing. Okay. Um, have, you re have you reported this guy to the police? Or Bank of Ghana? He gave me a contact mm -hmm. that I should call uh, an officer at the police headquarters, mm -hmm. which I tried, but the person I the person didn't uh, respond. So I'm here to call the person today, okay. and if possible today or somewhere Monday next week, I'll go see him and write my statement. What's the name of the of the app that you used? Um, it is called Fit Cash, but Fee under Fee Cash the app, they have uh, other uh, apps there, okay. which is called Cicabia. So Free Cash is like the grandpapa, and then you have others under. Exactly. And the one you used was Sikaduya? Yes, please. What does that mean in, 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 in tree? Money tree. Okay. Uh, how much money did you take from them? If you calculate how much you took from them and how much you paid back, what are we looking at? Over a period uh, of what time? It's more than quadruple the amount. Because the interest keeps, you know, mm. the more you take and pay with the interest, the more you take and pay. Mm -hmm. If you want to calculate the interest, it's about quadruple the actual amount that mm. you took. Mm. Yes. If you met the officials of security today, what would be your message to them? I would 
I'm not sure I'll give a message, but maybe there'll be some hefty slap coming through. <laughs> This violence is quite serious, <laughs> but I thank you for for sharing your story, and it's part of the education that we are doing on GTV, and uh, we thank you for, for for sharing your story with us. So now we know that Sikedria is uh, not a tree to be to be climbing. Thank you so much. Oh, All righty, thanks. So that's her story, and congratulations yeah, yeah. for getting her out of that mess. Yeah, but not yeah. everybody can get the, that that thousand can, can, yeah. Ghana from you yeah. uh, uh, and, every time they are in trouble. Yeah. And and so they need what they need to. They need to speak to Bank of Ghana. Yeah. So uh, the first thing is when you're a victim, uh, the police they have even opened a docket for this. Oh, okay. You know, so when you go there, you can go and report. You know, you can go and write your statement, and all these things are things that help mm -hmm. for them to gather intel. To, to act, right? So these things, uh, anytime I keep saying that if something happened to you, just go to the police and report it. Okay. If, if you don't know anything about it, just go to the counter, ask them. If they know that it's cyber related, they direct you to the cyber department, then you make their complaint. Or you can go online to look for Ghana National Cyber Security Authority. They have contact there on just WhatsApp, you can report to them. It's and they, 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 they keep up yeah. you know, on the case. So, yeah. It's good that we do reports so that the state or the authorities get to know about what is happening. Yes, because it becomes yeah. a lead for them to now chase up. Because yeah. they have a whole authority who, who, who tracks all these things. All these things we would want you to share your, your, your experiences with these online instant loan apps and the scams that are going around with them. So we're going to put that number on the screen. Give us a call. When you call us, please take your TV volume to zero and you speak to us through the phone and they share your story with us on this particular issue of online instant loan app scams. How many of these apps do you think are in the system in Ghana? Oh, Kav, uh, based on BOG, mm -hmm. what they brought, mm -hmm. and I'm saying it's more quadruple. Mm -hmm. Kav, you could even see it yourself here. When you just go online to type these online uh, instant loan apps, there are a lot. I have not counted them, mm -hmm. but I know that there are more than 50. Mm -hmm. There are more, more than 50. And you see, you heard what she said, that they look for people that you save their number, maybe CAF, GTV, mm -hmm. maybe MP, mm -hmm. Honorable, and they start ha like sending the message to such people. Pastor. Mm -hmm. So the point here I'm saying is, you are there, you think that you will never go for such loan, but someone who have your contact has gone for such loan, and because of that, they have your number. Mm. They, that private number you keep out of, you don't give it to people. Like I have a private you number, no one. It. They have it now. So does it mean that the people still have her contacts? Yes, they still have it. Wow. Even so, what is the proof that even when you delete the app, already the thing has been backed up onto their server. So even after you had paid, they can still do anything they want to do to you, and you don't mm. have their location. How can you track them? You can't. You can't track no them. true caller when the person... Because she says a woman called her. Yes, and, the, and you know, they use uh, countless numbers. Let's go to the lines and, uh, yep, let's, let's hear your, your experience in these online instant loan apps. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mo. How are you? Fine, thank you. What is your story now? Cap, mine is also the same story as the woman. It's fake cap. Mine happened just yesterday. And they contacted, contacted about... Um, there were 30 people. Just that they are being sleep for through. People were calling. They sent my ID card, my That's number, right. and then they have written the, the process is wanted by the police. So oh. this morning I'm trying to go to the police headquarters to go and report them because when you, you take a loan of a uh, thousand uh, Ghana, they will ask you to pay uh, 300 Ghana to you. That is if you are not uh, ready to pay mm -hmm. because mine was due yesterday and then I told them I was gathering money because I used it to do uh, cooking so I told them they should hold on and then I'll try and do the deferred payment and the deferred payment they've also written something there saying pay the 300 Ghana and then they will extend your date for another week mm. after extending it when you are coming to pay for the thousand Ghana. That three hundred will be deducted from the thousand, which means you are going to pay four hundred. But when it's time for you to pay the seven hundred, they will still insist that you pay the thousand Ghana. Wow. And I've done this thing for more than a four months. Mm. Yes. How much so I, I spoke to a lawyer and okay. then the lawyer told me I shouldn't pay the 300. So yesterday I was arguing with that. I said I'm, I was not going to pay the 300. Mm. I'll organize the 1,000 and pay, pay them. And then they said they were going to publish it. I was home and then people started calling, telling 
whatever my ID card, every data of my Ooh. on the face. People have been calling to this morning to say, wow. ready to go to the What's the name of the company again who's doing this stuff? Fiscash. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah. thank you so much for sharing the story. Please report You're these welcome. people. Report them for me. Thank you. Hmm. Wow, things are happening in this town. Another caller on the line. Good morning. Welcome to GTV Breakfast. Okay, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.